They're up before the dawn. Hot air balloon pilots from far away. And from right here in Ascension Parish. Pilots like Robert Ambo from Gonzales, whose passion for ballooning is equaled only by his love of Ascension Parish and his desire to showcase the 2015 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival for the people who come to experience the thrill of being up close to these magnificent airships. Stay tuned for more picturesque views from the festival grounds and the skies of Ascension Parish as we bring you coverage of this year's balloon festival right now inside Ascension. Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Ascension Outside. We're on the grounds at the beautiful Lamar Dixon Expo Center here in Gonzales for the 2015 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival. What a wonderful event, beautiful weather and the forecast is promising. Joining me now, Martin McConnell, Festival Director. How you hey, doing buddy, Martin? Do, we're doing great. We're doing wonderful. I mean the, the crowds that are here already, I mean the, the, the gates have only been open a couple of hours and the crowds that are already here tell me that this is something that the people of Ascension and the region want, and they're coming out to enjoy it. Has this become the signature event at Lamar Dixon, maybe possibly Ascension Parish? Th this is, from what I've been told, this is the largest event, the best attended event in Ascension Parish history. You know, last year, John, we estimated that there were 50,000 people who came here over the weekend, over Friday and Saturday weekend. And, and because of the weather and what's going on, I think we're going to at least match that crowd this year. That's awesome. What's it take to put on an event like this? Well, you should well know this. John, uh, John's been part of our committee. Uh, For we, our viewers, we have, may not know. <laughs> we have been meeting, the, uh, we have a committee of volunteers, uh, just a diverse group of people from across the community uh, who has been meeting once a week for about nine months now, uh, uh, working to put this thing together. And we, we meet once a week so that we can take care of business and get it done and everybody is aware of what's going on so nobody is in the dark so everybody can help out and we get all the input from, from everyone. Everybody has a valuable input. And, and look, let me tell you, we've got the cooperation of Ascension Parish Government, City of Gonzales, Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office, the Gonzales Police Department. We've got people from just all, all, all over, all over the community, the Mutual Aid Society. Uh, I mean, they're, they're all there. They're just willing to help. It's no small task to put together, and plus you have sponsors that back the Well, event. well not, not only that, we, we estimate, I think we have about 150 volunteers out here, and that's thanks to Volunteer Ascension. She helped, Sherry Denig with Volunteer Ascension, she and her staff helped coordinate that. So there's 150 volunteers going to be out here helping to put this thing together. Um, yeah, it's it's a monumental task. We do have sponsors. We uh, we have been going out for well, for the past year, uh, talking to different groups, organizations, businesses, industries, uh, encouraging them to, to sponsor us and, and you know offering them the exposure that the sponsorship would provide. And they're on board. They uh, not only are they on board, uh, John, but this festival is completely paid for. Uh, I mean, bef before we turned on the first light, before we inflated the first balloon, the festival is paid for just like it was last year. So the festival can stand on its own. It is not taxpayer funded. Uh, no public monies went into the making of this festival. What a great family event. I see people of all ages, grandparents to small babies. It's, uh, it's truly a family it, event. I think the hot air balloons, it, uh, those are the one, that's the one thing that everybody, all age groups, can look at that and go, wow, that's neat. And yeah, you're right, we've got families out here. We have, there are babies in strollers. There are older people in walkers. Uh, we, we, we're ha very wheelchair friendly here. So it's, we have a, a handicap parking for, for uh, those people who need it. Uh, and last year, the, the sheriff and the police told us there were no incidents, zero. There were no fights, there was no drunkenness, there was no problems at all. That's awesome, good family event. What other activities besides the beautiful balloons uh, can people expect to 
see and take part in while they're here? Well, I guess you can kind of see behind me or maybe over my shoulder, uh, we have a, a carnival here. They've been, they've been blowing and going since about 4 o'clock. I think he's got 20 or 30 rides out there. And he's got some rides for the little kids. He's got some rides for the big. He's got the buck and bull out there. If you want to come try your luck with the buck and bull, uh, he's got the hamster balls. He's got the Ferris wheel. We got all of the stuff that a carnival would have. That's available. We have a children's village. And this year it's really, really greatly expanded. We have uh, face painting, um, arts and crafts, a magician who's performing, and there's a petting zoo. And so all of that's in the, in the children's village. That's free for all the kids. That's tonight and, and all day tomorrow. That's gonna be available. We have um, the Steinhauer Craft Show. There's an arts and craft show going on in the Trademark Building. Uh, there's a powered hang glider, that buzzing that you hear. Uh, there's a powered hang glider. They're going to be flying around all weekend. There's great live blues music. With the music you're hearing in the background is the Elvin Killer B Band. Uh, but we'll have blues music playing all weekend long. Topped off tomorrow with uh, Mike Zito and the Wheel, followed by Nickel Beer, which is a great local uh, kind of a show band uh, thing that's going on. Uh, let's see, classic, classic, cars, cl classic car show will barbecue. be here tomorrow. The barbecue competition, plus we got Shane Martinez out here cooking uh, barbecue. Great. Plenty uh, of food and drink for anybody. Lots of food, lots of food, lots of drink. And if somebody called me and said, is it just going to be carnival food? I said, what, you mean like corn dogs or chicken on a stick? No, baby, you come out here and you will see the variety. We got Don Seafood is out here. They're cooking. We've got uh, um, the Maui Wowies serving their daiquiris out here. It's, we got some nice stuff, man. When do you start planning for next year? Um, I would say Monday. Uh, but Give yourself a little break. Well, I, I'm going to tell you, John, you, 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 you were there and you remember, we gave everybody about a two-week break. Then we had a nice lunch for all of the committee members who helped put this thing together. We went over to Mike Anderson's in a private room. We had a nice lunch and we said, okay, we went around the table and said, okay, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? How can we make this better next year? And so, yeah, it will start planning it in two more weeks. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, take a couple of days break, uh, you know, after the weekend's done. Martin, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks for being here. Thanks for covering all of this. Oh, and, and no problem. It's a lot of fun. You know, what right. better job in the world to have than uh, you know, come right. out and then y'all come out, y'all come out and have a great time at the Bloomfest. Martin, thanks again for being with us. Keep watching, everybody. Marshall Courtney joins us after the break with the sights and sounds from the 2015 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival from the beautiful grounds here at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to the 2015 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival. I'm Marshall Courtney, here with Robert Ambo, one of Ascension's own. He's from Gonzales. Robert, thanks for being with us. Good. Glad Tell to be me, here. how long have you been a balloon pilot? 28 years. 28 years. And how many hours or flights is that? It's almost 2,000 hours, which is substantial amount in ballooning. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, tell me, how many pilots do we have here this year? We have 30 balloon pilots here in three special shapes. And what are they? Uh, crab balloon, which is right behind me, cat balloon, and a bird balloon. So we have a little fight there, maybe. All right, so aside from the balloon festival, there's a competitive edge to it. Fill us in on that. Well, when you get balloons in the air in a group like this, it's competitive. It's doggy dog. Uh, we got world champions here. We got national champions. We got world record holders here in ballooning. So we got a real good span of group of people there. 
Where and when can people see the competitive side of the event? We're going to be flying tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning, which is the weather is nice and calm. We've got a competitive flight going into Central Primary School. So if you want to see it, you can go there and watch all the balloons come in. And what is, uh, fill me in on what the competitive uh, aspect is. What are the pilots trying to do? Well, we got a bean bag, and on that bean bag, we have our number. And the better drop we can get on the closest one to the center of the edge, you get more points. So it's a competition to get as close as you can. So the best you can do is lean over and drop it on dead center. Sometimes you got to wind it up and really get a lot out of it, you know, to throw it out there and do it. And you just do the best you can. All right, Robert. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Y'all come out and see us and have a good time. Bring your family. We got plenty of good food. Uh, the weather is beautiful. We're looking forward to meeting you. Robert Ambo, thanks for being here. Now let's take a look at the sights and sounds from the 2015 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival. <laughs>
Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Inside Ascension. Before you go, we'll close the show as we always do with a little lanyard. For John Connolly, I'm Marshall Courtney. Thanks for watching this episode of Inside Ascension. Now for a version of our national anthem like no other. Here's the Crystal Ball Band. So long, everybody. <laughs>